it's been made official that this is our actual spot. <laughs> it's a little bit of everything over here. Watch out for the velociraptor. Look at that, that's a picture right there. A goat and an alligator. Oh, you like those sandals, huh? Down where, here? Yeah. Now let's see the dismount. There we go. Whoa! Spidey. They whip. That's like a thing. Do they nay nay? Okay, so we made it to the outpost. We just put some wings on. We got some friends here. Uh, we've been hanging out all day, visiting the animals. Right now, we're kind of going back to our roots. <laughs> the very first thing I did here Corey's at the outpost job. was to clean the alligator pit. Bob <laughs> says, just walk in there. And this was back when there were so many alligators in there. Yeah. Just walk in there and they will get out of your way. They now, do they get Bob. out of his way. <laughs> They did not get out of my way. <laughs> they were like, who are you and why are you in our space? I don't know. They, I don't know if they recognize confidence or, or, or what, so. <laughs> you, you didn't have the confidence for I them to I apparently did not have the confidence. <laughs> so we're gonna go clean the alligator pit. I've been walking around here all day without a hat on. I got burned. It's ridiculous. <sighs> Ladies, do you have husbands that do the same thing? They like don't put sunblock on unless you put it on them because that's what he does. So I have to put a hat on him and sunblock. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Are you gonna dry heave this time? <laughs> no, no, not gonna this time. Okay, so she says dry heave. So when I first did it, there were like seed pods that came out of the tree. At the time, I did not know they were seed pods. He thought it was alligator poop. I thought poop. it was alligator poop. So there was a smell <laughs> and I was like, it was messing with I visualized <laughs> and I smelled. It was too much for me. I was like so hard trying to film him like dry heaving. <laughs> How is the smell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that this time. No. We're good. You're seasoned. We're, se <laughs> we're seasoned. Okay. I have to find a barrel for the debris and I need to find a rake. I need to find a hose. The hose is probably right there. But let's get into this. And look how awesome this grass is doing. Oh man. So this is about three weeks later, maybe four weeks later, the grass is just doing amazing. Okay, so this is also the project we worked on last time. I already showed you the grass, but we filled in all of this sand. We're just gonna kind of clean up the leaves and some of the sticks and stuff. Um, try to ignore these guys here. This is still draining a little bit, but we're gonna rake all these leaves here down get rid of them and then just hose the whole situation into the drain and get it cleaned and ready for the next shows this is the star of the show right here casper <laughs> He's the star. he is the star he's like where's my food and in case you're wondering he is wearing the racing sandals yeah, to mock out he's gonna have to run fast <laughs> from them Let's start raking. Maybe I'll just film you. Yeah? No, okay. Alright, so now this is the real challenge right here. <laughs> this is why we do this. So Chris, I would be completely underwater right now. There is a cage that goes from here to there. Chris would be where I am. Customers are behind the grate and Chris will take pictures and you'll be up close and personal with Casper, who is up here. Otherwise, I would be underwater right now. Um, and I've swam in here, 
with the alligators. It, it's such an awesome pool to be in. So Jess is dumping um, those buckets that we just filled. I'm gonna continue on, you know, putting this into a pile. It's hot here. So when the golf cart breaks, I have to drive the Bobcat. How's it going, babe? Goodness. So the golf cart's broken, which means I have to drive the Bobcat. <laughs> I got a refresher course. Now I gotta go load it up. That thing's really fun to drive. It's one of Lily's favorite things to do. All right, we're gonna load all this stuff onto the Bobcat and so we can drive it out of here. Now we're gonna go refill with what Corey's got cleaned out. Sorry, it's loud. Can't hear the sweating. Looks good. Did you track the music? Nope. Not yet. What is it different now? Yeah. Well done, Dave. It's, much better this is just one of those things it's like you're in a spot that's normally underwater i don't know there's something cool about it Usually yeah it's filled with alligators you did so good it's so nice and clean now right now there's some barrels and a couple of idiots um, wait a minute Who's maybe just one idiot? idiot okay so we're gonna yank these things out of here cut the water back on and, and fill this thing back up and it's ready to go okay. you should have seen like right here i slipped like twice that's why i took my sandals off <laughs> this green anywhere you see green slippy super slick just like just like the boat ramp when i took a tumble on the boat ramp in key west <gasps> oh corey are you okay she's um that yep <laughs> yes. got it but i did not take a tumble i almost good job did. good job the taking a tumble was worth it because he was trying to save that girl's prop so I really was. well done and we saved it and we did okay ready this is not gonna be very bad yeah that's not bad all right. You ready? So I just tilt it up and take off. Thanks. Back the up. Two metal parts. Down oh. where? Here? Yeah. Ah, it scares me! All right, first of all, thank you very much to everybody that's ordered shirts so far. We just wanted to get on here really quick and just say that the store is actually closing tonight, so you do have a little bit of time left. So if you have not yet ordered your It's Better Outside t-shirts, sweatshirts, tank tops, and our new Patriotic Edition, you've got a couple more hours and the link is in the description below. Last year when we were talking about the possibility of opening a store, we wanted to have a shirt that represented something that had enriched and bettered our lives as well as our girls' lives. And part of the reason why we left Maine was because we were spending so much time inside in the winter. And so we made a choice and changed our lifestyle so that we could spend so much more time outdoors as a family and so that we could show others that it truly is better outside. We hope you guys wearing the shirts this year will help encourage others to get outside with friends and family this summer and that doesn't necessarily have to look like living full time in an RV. You can go camping even if it's in your backyard, you can go hiking with your kids, riding bikes with friends, or even just taking a stroll with your spouse. There are so many opportunities if you're just looking for them. This episode wraps up our time in Southern Florida and next week we are starting our trip up the East Coast to kick off the summer. Thank you so much to all of you for joining us on this journey and here's to an amazing summer outside. Tonight we're having an awesome meal with some friends. Corey's very excited to cook the ribs that he got while we were in Key West. So we are having some ribs and we are trying snow crab for the first time. Corey's extremely excited. We've got coleslaw, we've got mashed potatoes. It's gonna be a whole evening of really, really good food. We've all worked a ton today in the heat, so we're hungry and ready for dinner. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Look relax, at this relax. These are like my favorite part of, of lobster, lobster right? so I'm guessing, looking at it. Whoa, it's gonna be your favorite part of crab, too? You're gonna to love it. Awesome. All right. I, I'm just gonna try one. It's gonna be so good. You gotta dip it in the stuff. Oh, mustard sauce. sauce. You may want a bunch of them. I'm gonna love it. Never know. 
Yeah, I yep. love it. And that sauce is so good. Yep, I made Delish. it myself. I made, I made it myself. It, myself. <laughs> <laughs> it was wrong. This is stone crab, not snow crab. Just it, so that so everyone knows. I think it's stone crab. I don't care what it's actually stone crab for. <laughs> but I think it's stone crab because the shell is so thick. It's so yeah. thick and hard and so delicious. Thanks, guys. Love you. He's, he's so fat. Lily, you have to go show that to Bob. He's so fat. That fat thing because it ran into the. What did you say? It ran <laughs> into the fence. I couldn't fit. Usually I just slither through the fence, but he couldn't fit. Oh my gosh. That is the fattest Get him in the sun one here. I've ever seen. We shall call him Butterball. Stop eating so much. Look at the claws. COVID weight. That's like, so you funny. You have to watch out for the claws. They can bite me, and they whip. That's like a thing. Do they nay nay? Like... <laughs> yeah. This is the first official recording of the GoPro 10. Oh, recording? We took a picture yesterday, but... Yeah, recording. recording. I'll take a picture, though. Let's take a picture. Bob said she's so fat because... She's pregnant. She's preggos. She's getting ready to lay eggs, and apparently iguanas made at the same time every year, all iguanas, and then they lay at the same time every year. Look how gorgeous she is. All right, mama, look how long her tail is. That's crazy. So our last night here, it's always sad. We just had dinner with everybody. Jess is inside cleaning. She doesn't want to do what I'm about to do. The kids are already out um, herping. So it's, it's looking for lizards and snakes and frogs and creepy crawlies. I'm gonna go out and look for some stuff. So basically you go out at night sometimes and you shine lights up into the trees and they are a little bit different colors. The prize tonight is a chameleon. They're the ones with like the, the pinching, whatever. That's what the kids are trying to find right now. I just check one more time to make sure Jess doesn't want to go. Hey, sure you don't want to come? You sure? <laughs> I'm sure. We have a lot of cleaning to take care of and put away before we leave tomorrow. So. And we you just got a new ice fun. maker. <laughs> oh my gosh, again. Well, I don't even know what that noise was. But we got a new ice maker. That is the noise um, of joy. We bought one of those before. We loved it. We had to immediately buy a new one. The first one lasted, what, three years? Yes, way longer than I ever anticipated. Yeah. We use it all the time. It's kind of like a must have. The modern family needs ice. Yes. We really I do. I cannot have my ice lattes that he makes me with the espresso machine if I don't have ice. Okay. But anyways, are you sure you don't want to come? I would love to, but I'm gonna let you guys go have fun with the girls. All right, we're gonna catch something. All right, what'd you catch? Have you caught anything yet? Well, we caught a couple geckos. We saw a so the trick is, is you look up and you see how these light, these are a little bit discolored. That's what you're looking for because the lizards are actually brighter. Uh -uh. Yeah. It's so cute. Oh yeah, see the pinchers. The pinchers, yeah, it is pretty. Come on, focus for me. It's pretty grabby. Well, we kind of made this look pretty easy, didn't we? Yeah, you like was. How long are you actually? How long have you guys been out here? We've been out here for like an hour. Oh. Well. Yeah, this is. I come for the good parts. Yeah. Hey, like I look oh, good. Oh man. Oh man, that was. Well, let's keep looking. All right, well, I want to find something. Oh, oh, gosh, I didn't want to walk into that. I don't even know what that is. That is really big. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna give you a wide berth. So I'm using like a big, like floodlight. This isn't the best thing to use. It's best to use like a headlamp that's with a more narrow beam so you can really focus on what you're looking at. So that's my excuse. That's why I'm not finding anything. Oh, there you guys are. Wow. <laughs> you feel it? Yes. You that? that thing is attacking you. What's that? What is that thing? Oh my word. That's Those are frogs? frogs? What the? There's two. No. -uh. Put your hand up to that. That is huge. Holy. God, Whoa, mobile. Mobile. 
<laughs> if you see the, the moon balloon and then look right up. Oh yeah, what is that? Oh yeah, pull the whole thing down. I think you got it. What is it? What is it? That's a big oh, chameleon. Chameleon. Oh wow. Yes. It's coming right down to you. That's a big one. What? Oh, that's so oh. cool. Oh, he changed color super fast. Here, you hold him. You're the one that Oh my god. Him. You hold him, huh? Wait, let him, bite, let him bite a leaf. Oh, right. oh my gosh. Let him bite a leaf. He changed color super fast. Oh. Anybody got the second one? Oh, it's There you go. Look at these. Okay. I would call this, this endeavor, this herping endeavor, a How success. Ah, yeah. Shoe yeah. would be proud. Shoe would be proud. Right. Well, we're deep in the jungle now. Do we even know how to make it back? I don't know what it is. No, you see all those little feet? It looks like cotton candy. It looks like gross. Lick it. Lick it. See if it melts. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. See how it's a slightly different color? I didn't realize she was climbing the tree. Lily. Now he's not gonna come off. All right, get down before you fall. Now let's see the dismount. Here we go. Whoa, Spidey. Scorpion mode on. All right, <gasps> there's one. Oh my gosh, see how they glow? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we switched to black light mode and you see how it's glowing green right there? See, can you see it? Oh my gosh, it's huge. Isn't that crazy? Oh, no. See that? No. Look at that. Look at that. You guys, so you'll see it from like all the way out here. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. Oh my gosh. Here. See if it strikes at this. Oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> all done? I can't. We just. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Aren't they crazy? Oh my, oh my gosh, chameleons are my absolute favorite. Well, technically, Isaiah found Look at that three. eye just yeah, going crazy. Every single one. So, hun, just real quick. There's so many scorpions out here. No way. Like, big scorpions. You're joking. You brought the black light out? Yeah. So they're the bigger ones, which means they're not as dangerous as the I don't know, they look ones. nasty, but I don't think you have to worry about them because I've been walking around here for years. It was a successful last night. It's amazing. It's always the worst when we have to leave. Yeah. That is a wrap at the outpost. As always, we have had the most amazing time. Uh, our volunteer event was incredible. Getting to see people come and give back to a place that we love so much was amazing. And we're really excited for what's coming uh, this year with Lippard and the other volunteer opportunities that we're planning on having for uh, people to come and join us with. It's always really hard to say goodbye to the animals. The girls always like to take a, a little while to say goodbye to everyone. So we're gonna do that and get the RV packed up. Bye, Josh. I love you. So we are all hooked up. The only tight thing about this spot is getting around this corner here. Uh, nothing terribly tight, but to get in here, I had to back up the whole way down here because there's not really any room to come in here and swing it back around. So pulling out's easier. No drama. It'll be easy but it's just something to watch out for. You good, Lily? Yeah. Done and done. One, one, one move.
He's a professional. It's been made official that this is our actual spot. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that awesome? No one's ever named a 50 amp spot after me before. You know? I didn't feel it myself. <laughs> you just knew. <laughs> <laughs>